Hello friends, it's me Chinuin Coder. Today I'm going to talk about Java FX slide scene transition. In this video, we will see how to provide a slide transition between different scenes. As you can see here, this is my second scene. And if I click on this one, the third scene is coming from the right side of this application. So by the end of this video, you will be able to create an, an animation like this. So let us start coding this one. Uh, for this tutorial, I have three scenes prepared. As you can see, these are three simple scenes. So this is my first scene. It has a text with this scene as text. Uh, scene one as the text then I have a load second button and when I click on this button I will call load second method and similarly I have a second scene and in this scene also I have a button and when I click on that the load third method will be called similarly I have a third scene and this does not contain any button so in this video we'll see how to implement the slide transition with the in between these scenes so coming to the scene one controller I have a button I have an anchor root and I have a parent container so what we are going to do is we will keep this stack pane in all these scenes what we will do is when we load the second scene we will just remove this anchor pane the scene one anchor pane and we add this second anchor pane I mean second scenes anchor pane like that we will keep this parrot stack pane and we just remove this anchor pane there so let's see how we can do this so this is the method load second that will be called when we click on this load second button so as soon as we click on this load second button we have to start the animation for that i'm going to add first load the scene 2 into a parent so i'm going to do that like this parent root equals using an fxml loader so fxml loader dot load then here i can specify the url get class dot get resource and here i have to give the path of the fxml so that is my scene 2 fxml path and now I got this scene two in a variable. I just need a scene, the current scene, which can be obtained like this. I have button. So button dot get scene will provide me with the current scene. So I got the current scene and the next scene that has to be loaded. What is happening is when I click on this load second, I have to add the second scene at the bottom of this window. So when I click on this button, scene 2 will be loaded just below the scene 1 and within the animation, we decrement the Y value of scene 2 so that we will get the transition effect coming from bottom to top. So for that, we have to set the current Y value or initial Y value of the second scene that is then using this translate Y property dot set. You can set it like this and I, I have to set it at the height of this first, first scene so i'm going to do that like this so scene dot get height so i got the height right now then i am going to add this new scene to the parent container get children dot add so if you look at right now you can see that both the first scene and second scene is present in the window right now now what we have to do is we have to add an animation so i'm going to create a timeline animation like this timeline timeline equals new timeline and i'm going to create a key value kv equals and i'm going to animate the y value of this root so when i decrease the y value we will get an effect that it is going up so that can be done like this root dot translate y property translate y property and i'm going to set the final value as zero then using the interpolator i'm going to set the transition as easing so uh, as you can see the easing and ease out differences and easing interpolator will make an animation start slow and then accelerate smoothly and the ease out is just the opposite so here i'm going to use the ease in then i need a keyframe and i'm going to create it like this kf equals new 
keyframe and here I can specify the duration so for now I'm going to use one second as the duration you can change it in any way you want and I'm going to give this key value in the keyframe there now only two to three lines of code is remaining I just have to timeline dot get keyframes dot add I, I just have to add this keyframe into the timeline so that is then like this and once the animation is finished i have to remove the current scene which we will do later let's see whether it is working up to this point so right now what is happening is we load the second scene at the end of the first scene in the bottom position then we gradually decrement the y value so it will go up pixel by pixel now let us just run the program so this is my project I run and I'm going to click on load second so as you can see it is going up so right now it is working very fine but in order to keep things proper we just have to remove the first scene after completing the animation so that can be done like set on finish and after the animation is finished I no longer need my uh, first scene so that can be removed like this parent container dot get children dot remove and i am going to remove this anchor root so uh, as you can see here the first scene contents are enclosed in this anchor pane so i can just remove the anchor pane which will remove the entire things and what is the problem here variable event is already defined no problem i can just use event one because i gave event here so right now if i run this program you can see that it is coming from bottom to top so that's it guys that's a basic idea of this scene transition with a slide animation so uh, we have one more thing to do right after clicking on this load third we have to load from left to right so let's see how we can do that for that i am going to scene two controller so it will be then from this load third method obviously and i am just going to copy paste this code that is just like this i can reuse most of this code so instead of loading second scene i am already in se second scene so i have to load third scene and here i don't have a parent container so that is important here i had a parent container because this tag pane was part of the scene one but when you come to scene two there is no parent container it is just the angle pane so somehow we have to obtain the parent container so that can be done like this so we have our scene then if you call this get root we will get the root component in the scene we know that the root component is a stack pane so we can just parent container equal scene dot get root we know that the parent is a stack pane so we can just typecast just like this so we load the third scene then we set the value to not y property we have to set it to end of the x property so i'm going to set the x property as the right extreme so scene dot get width it will which will set it in the rightmost position then gradually i have to decrement the x property using the key value and finally set it to zero then i have to finally remove the second one so that is the container so after the animation is completed the second scene will be removed and finally i forgot to add one thing i have to add the third scene into the parent container so parent container dot get children dot add which will add the third scene to the main container okay now let us run the program and i am going to click on load second which is loading the second scene and when i click on load third the third scene is loaded so that's it guys that's the end of this video so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos